Hello, this video is another vlog and I know I've been uploading quite a few vlogs recently. I promise next week I will try to once again make a how-to video. It's just that a lot of things have been going on in my life in the past few weeks. I started my Monday working on my task for biochemistry. We were asked to make a table about 10 metabolic pathways. Around 10.30 a.m., I joined our session for the program I am a part of, and I just stayed there and listened. Let's go to an art museum, I'll explain it at the coffee shop. I know you don't get it, but there's no need to fret it. It's like a gift, it's about the thought. No name might be too much, and then go might take a while. After the session, I decided to cook lunch for me and my brother. I made garlic potato with carrot strips. I am finally done with all of my ASEAN Youth Volunteer Program sessions for the day. I actually have to attend AYBP for the rest of the week from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then the remaining hours of my day goes to school, to personal things, and to Sienna Notes. It gets kind of repetitive and boring if I keep vlogging about it, so maybe I'll just show the important happenings from the program. I'm actually kind of sad because I always don't get chosen to ask the questions, and hopefully on Thursday I get chosen because the topic is all about STEM education, and I am very much interested in this because I am a STEM student. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. On Friday, I have final exams. On Thursday, I have quizzes. And tomorrow, Wednesday, I have to attend virtual classes. Hopefully, I get a lot of things done tonight so that I won't have to multitask tomorrow. Also, if you haven't seen my latest video, I will put it up in the cards. I think it is over here or here. All ad revenues of that video will go to the rescue and relief operations for those affected by Typhoon Strolly and Ulysses that recently hit the Philippines. I know ad revenues on YouTube are not that big, especially for a small content creator like me, but hopefully if you have free time, you can go check it out because no amount is too small. I just worked the rest of the day and at this point, I just really wanted to become a cat. No need to fret it, it's like a gift, it's about the thought. No name might be too much and Van Gogh might take a while. Thank you for coming and thank you for trying to do anything. One parcel a day keeps the sadness away. That was my motto on a Tuesday as my Game Boy games came in. I ordered Pokemon Emerald and Harvest Moon. I also decided to decorate my Game Boy. I had this ever since 2007, I think, or 2008. And it was kind of hard to make a decision on what stickers to put in. But eventually, I was able to make a choice. In my own honest opinion, I think Pokemon and Harvest Moon are two of the best Game Boy games. The storyline and the concept are amazing and the best part is that you can play the games as long as you want. Okay, enough about that for now because I have to join another AYVP session. After gaining a losing streak on Covidopoly, I decided it's finally time to start working. So I just scheduled a lot of posts for my Instagram. I wrote all of the captions, placed all of the hashtags, and tagged all of the people I have to tag. Then I had dinner. The next day, I woke up early because I had a class at 7 a.m. I just made breakfast and I watched The Office. To help create a more appealing environment, 
I attended my biochemistry lecture class and I decided to just take down notes. And then I joined my next class, which is Spanish. After lunch, I decided to proofread my biochemistry table and I also had a snack. Then I organized and cleared out all of the papers I no longer need on my desk. For my Spanish class, we were asked to make a menu consisting of a full course meal involving the Spanish cuisine. It was a lot of fun editing this, but considering I edited this at night, it was quite appetizing because everything looked delicious. On Thursday, I studied for my 100-item quiz and my exams for biochemistry. I also browsed through my Spanish notes to review some basic conversation greetings. Sienna, I am from the Philippines and I am an optometry student. With the freedom and convenience that digital technology provides, especially for STEM education in this pandemic, the notion of quality education is threatened, coming from a course that is medically inclined and skills and interaction with parents are important. What strategies can be implemented by educators and schools? in order for the student body to efficiently learn both knowledge-based and skill-based lessons and assure that no one will get left behind. Thank you. All of these are used up pens and highlighters. If you know a shop or anywhere I can donate all of this for them to be recycled then please let me know because it will be such a waste to just throw this away. Thank you for watching till the end of this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to comment them down below or send me a message on my Instagram. I upload new videos every Sunday. See you next week.